Hello, my amazing Leos. Hi, it's Robin. I'm going to give you a real quick mid-month uh, reading and just tap into your love energies and see how I can help you. I thank you for being here, you guys. I miss you very much. Sanctify the space. Clear the auric field. This is for my Leo, someone rising Venus people on the planet right now. I would like to tap in with white light, love, golden energy, like light of Christ, the energy of Gaia, the guides, the uh, ancestors that are loving, that are working out our karma with us and helping us to have a better future, better perspective, and a better now. This is for Leo, someone rising Venus. What are my beauties up to? I'm using the animal tarot for you. And then I'm using the Egyptian tarot to represent the energy of someone you're dealing with, right? Love Oracle, Soulmate Manifestation, Romance Angels, and Wisdom of the Hidden Realms to see what you cannot see. So you're showing up as the Nine of Wands, the Gazelle. You're getting things done. You've been through a lot of trials. You have a lot on your plate right now, probably. You're wor you've worked hard, and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Amazing challenges may pop up, but don't worry. You'll get through them just as you have in the past. Da -da 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 -da. Look at that. Leo's, hi, here. 10 of cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment. We got the prairie dogs. Yeah, the 10 of cups, Leo. Time to express your love and appreciation for a family, be it relatives, or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage, as well as raising happy, balanced children. Should that be the case with you, Leos? Beautiful. So I'm using this as the energy, and this is you. You also have this Seven of Swords, though. There's something that uh, is not clear to you, you might have a suspicion about something in your life. Seven of Swords, it says, um, caution would help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources, such as time and peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions, as well as what others might be doing behind your back. That's for you, Leo. We also have Eight of Winter. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. Maybe freedom from someone that kept you back. You're, you're now in this place of ten of summer. What else is this? Three of Summer, Three of Cups. You're in a celebratory state because you've opened up the, the you're opening up this deceit stuff that happens to you, and you're like, no, I've already opened up the cage, set everything free. No, I'm done. I'm not worrying about that anymore. I'm going to celebrate my life. You're in a celebratory state, and you're doing exceptionally well. I love it. Let's see who they are dealing with. Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys are awesome. Hmm. Here we go. Who is Leo dealing with at this time in love? One more for Leo. The significant other person that Leo has in their life. Tell us about them. Jeez, man. They really want to come out. <laughs> Let me have two more, please. Who is the significant other that, that uh, Leos are dealing with at this time, please? All right, let's see what you got. The chariot. This is movement. This is cancer energy. This is movement, Leo. And they're coming or going. There's there's a freedom of movement for you now. Uh, the, the tower card is in reverse. You're finally happy someone has left you alone. That's what I get. You're celebrating because someone did you wrong. Had you up in their your head. I'm not kidding. Here you are. Queen of Swords. Ha. 
Oh, to you can play at that game. In order for me to find my happiness and joy, I'm going to put up some boundaries. Yes, Leo. And I'm not going to show my affection to anyone that doesn't treat me well. I'll just pull back. But I'm going to have a very victorious week. Very victorious situation. You're being seen and your value has been raised incredibly because of the way that you treat yourself. I want to clarify this uh, chariot in relation to them. This could be a cancer coming towards you after a tower moment or left after a tower moment. Yeah. No, they're gone. The hangman's gone in reverse. They're gone. Someone's left the scene. Empress. What did they say? You have freed yourself of some baggage. Okay, here you go. Tell me about the Queen of Swords energy for my Leos. That's someone you know from your past. Okay. Six of Cups. Memories, thoughts. Somebody might be thinking about getting coming back, though. Four of Cups. This person is uh, wanting to communicate with you. Are they going to? Judgment, yes. Someone may come back and make an offer to you, Leo. It looks like you could be victorious. Give me the energy and clarity of who this might be for them. Leo, someone rising Venus. Beautiful. It's beautiful, victorious. Oh, shit. There's that seven of swords. You're not going to take it back. The victory is in that you quit playing the game with them. Hello, goodbye. All right, let's see. Your future is temperance. You might be meeting a Sagittarius, which is another fire sign that will bring you, um, take some of these burdens off of you and help you to have faith again and have fun. Yeah, a new start. So you've got the Ace of Coins. You have a brand new start. Yeah, someone's going to come in and make an offer to you, Leo, and help you on your business and have gusto. But whoever this is, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they may be someone from your past. Yeah, yeah. Well, the spirit says to me, yeah, no. Let's find out. What do they say about your love life? Because you got someone that tormented you. They're, they're gone. Someone who cheated you, lied to you. You're going to get a victory over that. Totally. And you're being victorious uh, fundamentally, too, financially. Extremely. All your hard work is paying off. So, wow. Leo, what do we have? It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now's the time to give to yourself you deserve victory i hope that person is good to you let's see what we have in the sense of um you know why i turn these over because this person is this person is um moving away i mean they're moving away they might want to come back but their offer is not sincere and you you might not take it if you have the Seven of Swords twice in a relationship, you really don't trust that person. They did something, Leo. I don't know what it was. It could have been a third party, but it could have been a lie. It could have been theft. It could have been taking your precious time. It could have been lying and deceiving you and using you for sex. And you're like, no, 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 not nobody. I don't know. I'm getting my temperance and I'm getting a brand new start. I'm going to get victory. I'm having joy and I want the tennis summer. Message is, follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. Yes. Wisdom of the hidden realms for my Leos. What is that message? Leo, someone rising Venus. The high lord. The high lord of gratitude and service, selflessness, humility, and conscious action, and you become extraordinarily successful and protected. Let's have a romance message for Leo. Oh, forgiving and learning, totally on the table with somebody from the past. You've got a honeymoon coming up. Enjoy the hot bliss of holiday time together. When you're in love with somebody, it should be like a holiday all the time. You've got the Three of Cups, and you've got the honeymoon. So, And then you have a victory card. What? 
But then they're saying take your time. If you've been hoodwinked by somebody and you've separated, take your time to heal. You're going to have the Ten of Cups anyway. That's where you're going. That's how you're showing up as. You were dealing with deception. Oh, shit. Tell me more. Leo. And you were very sharp about paying attention to red flags now. Oh, follow the sun. I'm out. You deserve love. What else, please? You were dealing with a past life relationship that wasn't, it was karmic. You paid your debt. It was based on codependency. You paid your debt. All right? That's what I hear. You pay my debt. My dues are done. I can go on with life now and enjoy this new, new thing coming toward me. And be prepared for it because it's actually right here. Let's have an outcome from the moon cards. Thank you. This is Leo, Summon Rising Venus. Just a quick overview. This may or may not be your reading. I mean, this is Leo at General Energies, but if it is, I would like to know. Yes, please join me on my, go to my website if you want to catch up with me. Definitely. I'm channeling everything through that. I'm also on google.com now. Please check me out and leave a review if you've ever had a reading for me. And if you'd like a reading, I'm doing them. I'm open. I love you. Hope I've not disappointed anybody. I'm still here after a couple years. Here we go. Communication will be the key to your release. Yes, Gemini energy. And one more. Leo, expect powerful change. I would say so. Looks like you got hope here, honeys. Thank you so much. Be sure to hit the like button for me, guys. Okay? Thank you. My babes. Namaste. Bye.